welcome back to math. We're going to be talking about addition properties. Addition properties. You can use properties of addition to find sums of whole numbers and decimals mentally. I love this because we can do it in our heads. When there are no parentheses, we're going to add in order from left to right. So example number one says, Elijah recorded the number of different movies he watched last month. We're going to use the properties of addition to mentally, of addition to mentally find the total number of movies. So it says you can, oops, I drum, I, oh, there it is. Sorry, I was, lost track of where I was at. You can easily add 5 and 15. So we're going to change the order and group those numbers together. So because I can easily add the numbers 5 and 15, I'm going to circle those two numbers and I'm going to rewrite it. So I'm going to say 5 plus 15 plus 27. Because I know 5 and 15 are what? 20. So I ended up with 20 plus... 27, which is, blurred it, 47. You can easily add 5 and 15, so we change the numbers grouped them together. It says the commutative property of addition states the order in which the numbers are added does not change the sum. So if I added them in this order, it would still be, 47. It doesn't matter which way I add them. It's not going to change the sum. So the way I think of commutative property is I think of little cars. Because when we talk about commute, you're talking about your drive to work or your drive to school, right? Commute. The associative property of addition states that the way in which the numbers are grouped does not change the sum. The associative property of addition states the way that the in which the numbers are grouped does not change the sum. So 5 plus 27 plus 15 is the same thing as saying 27 plus 5 plus 15. Oops, you can't see. Sorry. 20 equals 27 plus, and they said, okay, we're going to group 5 and 15 together equals 27 plus, what's 5 plus 15? 20. And 27 plus 20 is 47. So Elijah watched a total of 47 movies. Okay, so the first index card I'm going to use, I'm going to write the commutative property of addition. C-O-M-M-U-T-A. T I V E property P R O P E R T Y of what? Um, I'd prefer you to do it on the side of the lines. Now, I'm going to draw a little car. I would like you to draw a little car. It doesn't have to be super cool. It just needs to be a little car. That it's. I'm not really picky. I just want you to do a car. Because the car is going to remind us that it's the commutative property. So what can we do with cars? We can move them, right? We can move them pretty easily. So the commutative property of addition states that the order in which numbers... are added
And I'm going to draw a... I'm going to draw a circle with a line through it. What does that mean? When you see that symbol, what does that symbol mean? No, it means no, basically, right? So I'm going to write, the order in which the numbers are added does not does not change the sum now we're gonna flip it to the back in just a second I'll give you a minute to finish writing all right so we've wrote on this side we're gonna turn to the other side and I want a couple examples so what is one example we could give for the commutative property well this example said what 5 plus 27 plus 15 and I said okay we're gonna circle the 5 and the 15 because I can add them pretty equal e easily in my head, right? Yep. So then I can rewrite it as 5 plus 15 plus 27. 5 plus 15 is 20. 20 plus 27 equals 47, right? So when I move when I move my number when I move my number 15 when it moves to another spot we call that the commutative property right does anybody else have another example that they could give me off the top of their head? Okay, perfect. So my friend said another example, Miss Richardson, could be 15 plus 7. Is that what you said? Plus 15. And they said, I can what? Okay, hold on. So I'm going to commute or move my 15. So he's going to go in there. The 15 is going to move to here, right? So my new problem is going to be 15. plus 15, plus 7, and my friend said 15 and 15 are what? 30, plus 7, equals 37. That's a great example. That would be a yellow slip.
Yeah, they use parentheses. So in parentheses, they put 5 plus 15. So this part would be the part where they group them, right? And then the next layer is 27 plus 20, because 5 plus 15 is 20 equals 47. So the part in here, and if we look at our paper, it shows us the commutative is the part where they move the numbers, right? So when they move the numbers, that's the commutative part. The part where they group them is the associative part. So I'm going to, maybe I'm going to blue it. Because this, this part is the associative part where they grouped them. That part's the associative part where they grouped them. So far, so good? All right. Uh, when we come up with another example, we'll add the other one, OK? Turn the page. Okay, the last one is called the identity property of addition. I, I, I will post them later, just kind of train with me and then we'll go back. Yep, uh, times by one is the identity property of multiplication. The identity property of addition states that the sum of any number and zero equals that number. So I'm going to write this down. Identity. property of addition. This is my last card, yes. Sorry, I didn't explain that very well. Thank you for questioning. That would be a good purple question. So the identity property of addition states that the sum of any number, oh, thank you for asking. The sum of any number and zero equals the number. So we're going to write a couple examples on the back. So what plus zero, my friend? Okay, can we just do 4,000 instead of 4 million? You're not wrong, but... So 4,000 plus 0 equals 4,000. We could, but we did 4,000. <coughs> so you guys didn't have to write all the zeros. Now, identity, what I like to think about is... We'll pretend this is Miss Richardson or you guys, right? If you start out as yourself and you add nothing, you end up as yourself, right? So we'll get another example in a minute um, when we get, get down farther. Okay, I'm going to 
jump down to guided practice. <clears throat> Let's do this. Um, the commutative property. Every time we see the commutative property, it's going to be green. Every time we see the associative property, it's going to be blue. Blue for our jerseys, I'm going to do it light blue so we can still see through. And then the identity property. You know what? I like yellow, so can we use yellow for the identity property for Miss Richardson? Because it reminds me of sunshine. Let's go ahead and pull out blue, green, and yellow. So we're going to use properties of addition to find each sum mentally. We're going to show the steps and identify the properties that we used. 9 plus 27 plus 1. Well, I'm going to try to group the 9 and the 1. The nine, Grouping 9 and 1 together because I know 9 plus 1 is 10. What property is that? When I group 9 plus 1 together, what property is it? It is the commutative property, and I know because it has it right there. So what's the one number we've not put in here yet? We use the 9, we use the 1, now we need to use the 27. Now they have 27 plus, and they use parentheses. When they use parentheses, we call that the what property? Associative. So use your, put your parentheses in your blue. <clears throat> Associative property says when you group them together, it's not going to change anything. 9 plus 1. 9 plus 1 is what? 10, what's 27 plus 10? 37. Any questions with this? Nope. All right, here we go. Now, we are on independent practice. So they have 60 plus 20 plus 9 plus 2. So what they did was they took the 69 and they pulled it apart to give you 60 plus 9. They took the 22 and they pulled it apart to give you 20 plus 2. Then they grouped the 60 and the 20 together and they grouped the 9 and the 2. What do we call that when we move the numbers? What do we call that when we move the numbers? Look at your cards. When we move the numbers, what do we call it? The commutative property, you are right. Commutative T A T I V E commutative, and we can just do P R O P for prop. <clears throat> and remember, I said the commutative reminds me of a car because it's moving the numbers. numbers. My car looks an awful lot like a mouse on wheels. Now, now that we've, now that we have commutative and we move the numbers around, what do we call it when we put them in the bracket or the parentheses? We call it the associative property. Okay, 
And then they added, and then they added. Ready to try the next one? So this one says I have 11 plus 7.7 .7 plus 4.3 plus 0. So what did they do from the left side to the right side? What did they do from the left side to the right side? What changes do you see from the left side to the right side? What did they do? They're adding, but what did they what did they change from the left side to the right side? Bless you. They put parentheses. So when we put parentheses in there, what do we call that? Associative property. You guys ever played the game that... <coughs> Like, have you ever had to look to see what was different between two pictures? Do you guys know what I'm talking yeah. about? That's what we're doing here. We're playing a game. What's different between the two sides? So they said associative property. Then they said they're adding. Uh-oh. They said, oh, I got another line. What is, what property is right here? It is. It's one of your three cards. Because this line has something really telling about it. If you don't know, look at your cards. That is your job. Identity, and how do you know it's identity? Because the zero is there, it's identity. That's going to be the same before or after. I'm going to write the word identity in black because I don't think you're going to see it in yellow. Is that okay? Identity property. What? No, it's fine. That's that's why we're doing it, right? We've got the cards. Look at what I did with my card. Put a yellow streak on this side. Put a blue streak on this side. Put a green streak on this side. And it just helps me remember. All right, let's look at number four. Let's look at number four. What is different from the left side to the right side? One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. What changed from one side to the other? I'm going to put a little pink streak in the middle on the equal so you can see see that you're looking between both sides. Nope, oh, but thanks for checking. I appreciate it. Changed. What? <laughs> yep, but what do we call that? What property do we call that? Yeah, it's a commutative property, right? Because they moved 
they moved this number Meep, meep, meep. They moved it there, right? So we call it the commutative property. Now, when I look at my next line, what's different from the top to the bottom? What do they do? from what's different from the top line to the bottom line. So now I have to look from this line to this line. What do they change from this line to that line? What's changed? This one's shorter. Why is this one shorter? What do they do differently in this line? They added what? Are you stuck? They added the parentheses. See that? This is what they did. They added the parentheses. It might have been. Is that what happened? You forgot the name of what it was? So they added the parentheses. When we add parentheses, we call that the what property? Nice. The associated property. Now, we're going to use our properties of addition to find the sum mentally. We're going to use the properties of addition to find the sum mentally. We're going to show the steps and identify the properties we used. <clears throat> what would be the first step? What, to, what would you want to do first to figure this out in your head? What do you want to do first to figure this out in your head? Maybe. If you're looking at these numbers, which two of these numbers would be the easiest to add in your head? I don't agree with you, but good try. The easiest. Why would I want to add the 10.9 to the 0 0.1? Okay, so if I put these two numbers together, 10.9 plus 0 0.1 plus 3, we call that what property? This is the commutative property, C O M. M U T A T I V E commutative property. Okay. Now, how do I know that I want to add the ten point nine and the zero point one together? Next. I what? Okay, I, I totally agree with you. I totally probably would do that in my head too. I'm not even I'm not even fibbing, okay? But remember, we first we changed it, and then when we've changed it, then they say, what did they do after what's their next step? Yeah. 
Yep. So their next step is they said, okay, Miss Richardson, I see you changed it. You commuted it. Now I'm going to put it, we're going to put it in parentheses. What do we call it when we put it in parentheses? Blurt. This is the associative. Property. So 10.9 plus 0 0.1, my friend said, well, if I line it up, Miss Richardson, got to line up the decimal, right? 9 and 1 is 10, carry my 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, plus 0 is 1, and then 1, so now I have 11. So I have 11 plus what? plus three, and now I can just add and I get 14. So I'm going to just add, and I got 14. Yep. All right, I am out of time. So this is what I want you to do. I just want you to do two problems for homework tonight. But what do you notice? You have to use the properties of addition. You have to show your steps and identify the properties that you used. So much like I did every single line, we talked about it, we looked about it, we can't... Now the biggest thing is, is yours might look a little bit different. It should be the same properties, but it might look a little bit different. Any questions for me before we go? One and two, but make sure you show me all your steps and all your properties. All right, talk to you later. Bye.